Hello, DJ Shifty. Dan Freeman. We're walking through Harvard Yard right now. The cameraman is making sure he doesn't trip over. Watch out! Just kidding. <laughs> We're gonna do a workshop here at Holden Chapel in Harvard University. It's a very serious building, no curse words. And we're gonna do serious presentations. No smiling in our presentations. There will be a pop quiz. After the pop quiz, we're gonna do another pop quiz. And then after that, there's gonna be a paper. And anyone who doesn't do it perfectly is getting thrown out, expelled. I'm a DJ and producer, so I was really excited for both aspects. I really wanted to get a preview of Live 9, because I'm still using 8, actually, and I kind of wanted to see more into the features of that. I was also really excited to see this guy right here, because I've seen a lot of his work on YouTube and stuff. I've followed him through a lot and really idolized some of the stuff he's done. Before all the digital stuff came along, uh, if you wanted to like show your skills, it was stuff like this. If we look up here at my file, we can actually see the waveform of the sound that we're using. You'll see these little flags uh, throughout my waveform. And these are points in the song that I myself have set. And the technology allows me to jump to those specific points just by hitting one pad or one button. So it gives you more authorship over how your tracks come out to your audience because you're no longer limited to okay, I have to play a track from someplace and then it's just going to play. Now you have this ability to, you know, I'm going to play the end first. And then when it gets to the end, then I'm going to play the middle. And then when it gets to the middle, I'm going to play the beginning. You're the boss of the songs. The songs are not the boss of you. I use Ableton Live nowadays because it makes doing live performance a lot easier. To see something like this up close is just mind-blowing. Just as production techniques are ending up in performance, performance techniques are ending up in production. So Ableton for Live 9 developed this, uh, this instrument, the push. What this enables you to do is you can very quickly come up with music. There are eight squares, you know, these represent uh, sixteenths, so sixteen represent a bar. So what I do is I select a drum, so the kick, and I go ahead and just start. Now I go to the snare. And I can adjust the tempo actually right here. You know, I can bring a hi-hat. What's kind of cool is that you can actually then kind of go on to other instruments. Let's say uh, do a keyboard. So I hit add track right here. Boom. And I can basically go and I pick uh, some scales. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to pick G minor, which, and so what do these represent? So it's kind of like a keyboard. So I'm going to start playing my groove again. Hit record. Now I can hit um, a quantize. Everything gets lined up nicely. I can go and I can kind of do some volume adjustments. 
So take down my drum rack a little bit, maybe. Now I can add another track. So I'm going to add a bass here. Pick a scale. And just play kind of play around with it. Now I can go to like a session view, which is kind of more like the old APC 40 and drop stuff off. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.